Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Boy, is this gonna be a fun edition. This is, I call it my Halloween edition. A lot of people have said I look like Heisenberg or Walter White. So let me get right into the heist. The first scene is they were stealing really as amateurs. Now, as you can see in this clip right here, the first clip, they do have guards and they're looking at them. What I don't understand in this clip here is they're uh, putting on their mask. You do this beforehand. You don't even do this when you're there. You wouldn't be at that gate without having everything done, having your uh, headband on, whatever you're going to wear over your head and stuff of that nature. Obviously, they have their gloves on and everything else. They cut the gate. A lot of these places that have high-end stuff have one cameras, two, either uh, barbed wire or electrical fence. You couldn't cut it that easy. But obviously, this is not that kind of a secure place. But in today's world, you couldn't do that because the federal government would make sure of that. That's for sure. See, they didn't even know that the guard was making his rounds and where he makes his rounds. Come on, guys. You know me. You gotta be prepared. You gotta case the place. Now the guard goes to the to the bathroom. So what are they gonna do? They're tying him in there or locking him into this uh, outhouse. He'd have a radio on him somewhere. So I'm not buying that part of it. See, see, he has a chemistry. So look at the way he's opening the. Uh, he's using some kind of uh, like an explosive to like burn the lock open. There's better ways to do that if you're going to do it, but he's a chemist, so I give him that. Now, again, don't you think there would be some fire alarm system in there? I would think there's a fire alarm system in there with chemicals like that. What? Uh, let's just take this. Come on. Come on. More than likely, a place that had these kind of chemicals, chemical storage, would also have multiple guards. So here they're getting the chemicals out. Look at the chemicals in that place. First of all, why wouldn't have you brought a truck with you? Get through the gate. After you even get in and you did what you did, you could take it. They could have took it and put it on the uh, golf cart right there. And the guy's in the thing. That's kind of goofy, but I get it. Now, stealing as pros. What's the plan? This ocean of methylamine that you claim you can get your hands on. Obviously... This is way down the line in the show. How much are we talking about? Literally. How does 24,000 gallons sound? He needs the chemicals to produce the kind of meth he needs because he's now into it big time. The train travels east through Arizona, stops at a rail yard outside Flagstaff where it gets broken down and rebuilt. But the methylamine always moves on, destined for our pesticide concerns in Texas and Oklahoma which means that it passes right through your home state. I was involved in a lot of planning of a lot of robberies, uh, whether it's warehouses, whether it was diamonds, whether it was uh, wedding places, wherever it was. And I'll tell you what, we didn't do it like they do it here with the layouts and stuff like that, but we did go through the plan, what everybody has to do. And one person just doesn't come with it without having the whole plan put together. So it's not like, oh, I got you the schedules for the train and I'll tell you what actual cart the train is on. And security on trains is so much bigger than they, they made it out to be. Keep in mind, I'm taking a huge risk supplying this information. I expect to be paid. But you know what I'm going to say about this whole entire part? Three can keep a secret when two are dead. I get the idea of the train, but I'm wondering if they really look deeper into where they store this stuff or where it comes to an airport. When it comes off of a tanker in a, one of those big uh, shipyards, where does it go before it leaves that tanker to go to where it goes? See, I mean, I would have gone deeper than a train. Uh, obviously, trains are, like they said, homeland security, and they're under a lot, especially chemicals. Assuming we could stop a moving train, how do we know we have the right one? And which tanker car is which? I can't believe that they would advertise their contents. Obviously, Walter is a little bit reluctant at this time because he's coming up with really good stuff. Once the train gets rebuilt in Flagstaff, a final manifest gets uploaded to my company's server. I'll have it for you sometime between midnight and 2 a.m. That'll give you at least six hours of lead time. But she has the answers, too. 
which there would be someone who had the answers. That, that's all true. Now to preparation. This is the most important part. He is preparing as much as you can. This part I loved because, you know, I always say, and you have to be so prepared, every contingency has to be met. I think they could have did something a, a little bit better, but they picked the right spot. Obviously, it's in the middle of nowhere. 800. What they're doing is measuring off where the train will stop or they want the train to stop. This got a little bit sketchy in my opinion because how will you know that train's gonna exactly stop there? How far back could it stop? Or if it stops? And what if it doesn't stop? So I get why they set it up here but they didn't, in my opinion, have enough hoses and stuff like that. Next one, they buried the tanks and I get that. You don't think a ton of people knew about what was going on? That looked like they were digging body spots to bury bodies. Pretty good investment as well. You gotta buy these tanks, you gotta have this heavy equipment brought out there. Everything you're doing costs money. Well, I get why we want the tank for the methylene, but why this other one for the water? It's, uh, it's all about the weight, yo. The weights don't match. The train company's gonna know it got robbed. Okay. No one other than us can ever know that this robbery like that. I definitely like the way they explain the weight. We will be removing a thousand gallons of methylamine from the tanker car, but replacing it with about nine tenths of that volume in water. This comes to 900.24 gallons. Now, Walter White was the numbers guy and, and the science teacher in his high school. You know, railroads have what they call track checkers. I'm wondering if they even thought about that or they know the track's not gonna get checked. They're checked. You're not gonna run a train with heavy duty chemicals like that on it without checking tracks. They're checked all the time. The actual heist. Now, what do you need when you get more people in on a heist? More people know what's going on. Three can keep a secret when two are dead. So now, you got the old man, you got Walter White, you got Jesse, you got the red-headed kid, the truck driver. What about the, the cement truck driver, the guy who's driving this, the, the dump truck? And I get he locks it right on the uh, railroad tracks. It would have been a great scene if they just had the truck train run right through the fucking thing. I'd have got a kick out of that. That would have been good. If a train would have just went right through that truck, because it would, it would go right through that truck. Highly flammable, very highly flammable chemicals on a train that are also a, a certain class of a drug that the FDA and the federal government deems super dangerous. So it's, it's going to have more than two guys on the train. Man, if they didn't hear that train slowing down while they're under there, they knew it was over. Now, the way to, the curve of the track is you couldn't see down there, so I think that was a good idea as well. I mean, in the show. It was kind of on a turn, if you want to call it that. And I, it didn't bother me that they had a pump and stuff, because you would never hear it from that distance. Not with a train, maybe still running or something of that nature. You don't know what is going on out there. I mean, that's pretty far ways. Jesus! Thank God you guys want to sleep with the switch. Be like Pancake City out here. Oh, man. Now, you believe this? Before those guys got off that train, though, they would be making a call to their depot, telling them what happened. And they might call for help. Say, hey, listen, we got somebody stuck on the tracks. Get somebody out here right away. They wouldn't just get off the train and try to help people. That was, uh little bit out of, out of touch. Remember, those trains are on a tight schedule. And they have to be because the tracks are used by multiple people. So it's not, not like the train is the only track for that train. Those tracks are used by other, maybe Amtrak, maybe uh, CV, CSX, whatever companies they might use that. Here's another thing. I'm sure they kind of, did they know exactly where that train was going to stop exactly, you wouldn't have had more leeway of rubber hose? Of course you would. And who knows how to just do this under a train? I get what they're doing, and I like it, 
and I love the prep. Now I give them a lot of credit. They were very coordinated. They all knew what they had to do. They went and they did it. They had the tools, so they had to know what kind of lug nuts were on that top to open that top. I give them a lot of credit in that regard. Yeah, I bet he better cover that mouth. That stuff will knock you out and kill you. I mean, they talk about that all the time. Why do you think they had that mask on? Obviously, they got it set up so we can't fix it. This is what I love. This would never happen. Do you know how heavy a dump truck is full of that dirt? This was funny as hell. Water is going. Now to put water back in. That's a pretty ingenious move. Obviously, you know, him figuring all that out and, and the lady and everybody else. That's the genius of this plant. You know I always talk about planning things out like I did. Whether it's a robbery, whatever it is, it's got to be planned out very well. Oh, this is really funny trying to push a dump truck. Push a dump truck. Did you hear it? If you put it in neutral, it'd run them over. It'd, it'd roll back on them, which they wouldn't care. But that's another thing. How did they find the flat part of the road where the truck wouldn't go one way or the other? This is what I always feared. A good Samaritan. Damn, buddy. Can hell of a place to break down? I know, right? Crazy. Hey, you know anything about engines? Uh, not a whole lot. Push off the tracks, at least. Oh, yeah. Gee, man, I don't want you to mess up your ride. I'll go slow. We'll get a scratch. Man, you screw up your nice shiny bumper. Hey, we're running late because of you, buddy. The man said it was no problem. I always feared a good Samaritan because those are the people you don't want to hurt. You don't, I don't want to hurt anybody. But even in any robberies or anything like that, you don't want to hurt people. And all of a sudden, you know, somebody comes by and they could screw up the whole thing here. This civilian comes by to move the truck. Although, they had to do something. How long do you think they would have went before getting on that train? Maybe checking the train. Maybe taking a walk up and down the train. Maybe that's their protocol. I don't know, they never talked about that. Because if their protocol was, you know, call it in, get police help, whatever it is, you got you got dangerous cargo, everybody. Come on. I don't know anybody with a new truck like that would push a old dump truck. Not this guy. Hey! Hold it! Because it's TV, they gotta cut it close. They gotta cut it close. I gotta love that. I love that kind of stuff. No! Now this part, you see how quick they're closing everything up? Close it up, close it up! I mean, when I say closing up, I don't mean just a little bit. They're waiting for the pressure. Guy throws the water hose off, which is good. Now look how quick he locks this thing up. And then he even seals it with that special, uh, there's a seal. Like, well, look what Jesse does. They lock it up, look. They have a seal they put on there. Now, did they get those seals? And, you know, how do you know how to use those seals? They must have practiced. Obviously, they had to. Now they're moving. And you can do that. You can lay under a train. That is fact. Get off! Get off! Now, I don't know if one of those conductors could see through a rear view mirror, a side view mirror either. But I would have broke my leg. Jumping there, I would have broke my leg. Now look what it says on the back of that train, flammable. They ain't messing with that, people. Elation. They did it. You know, I often talk about that. They're in La La Land. This is a better hide than any drug they can get. They are in town. Now, I'd be already locking up, pulling things up, and I'm sure they are. Uh-oh, Walter sees something. As a kid on a dirt bike, I had a Yamaha 100 Enduro. Anybody know what that is? A Yamaha 100 Enduro. Like that. Never wore a helmet. Here's another witness.
Oh no. no. Oh no. no. Oh, what a shot he is. He kills the kid. Oh my god. You know, we're going to end it there. Obviously, you have to watch this show. This show is a great, great show. Uh, right to the ending, underground, the drug ping pins, the, the store, everything. you got to check this out. You really do. Uh, it's one of the great shows out there. Uh, Breaking Bad is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a good guy. I, 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 I don't even want to call him going bad. I get it. I get why people do this and become something they're not. Because life situations make you do things you shouldn't do. So always think about that, people. Think about what, what making you do bad choices and make, make sure you don't do those bad choices. Great show, Breaking Bad. Please watch it. Heists are pretty good. They pretty much have a, a preparation a plan preparation and then the heist itself but they also show you that things can go wrong obviously killing a kid is not never good i would have never did it could have never did it the first heist was funny almost because they were kind of like stupidity but they got away with it and again security was lacking on both of those places you couldn't do it but they can be got they always can all right everybody i hope you like them breaking bad check out this saturday's video is my cooking video it's gonna be a good one. Uh, it's prison pizza. It's gonna be something. It's not pizza, but that's what we used to call it. You're gonna love it. Uh, I ate like a pig. Had a great time doing it. All right, everybody. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe. Really, please make good choices. Please keep the comments coming. Please keep the emails coming. Check out my book. It has some wild, wild stories in there. It's in the links below. Just check out my book. You can get it there. All the stuff we do. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love, lots of respect. Have a great day. Happy Halloween. Walter White, baby. I, I do like his character. Do I look like him? A little bit, maybe? I don't know.